There we go. All right, I think that is done. The tree is chopped. Let's go and put the heavy chainsaw on the uh, the side bank there for a second. Let's go and check underwater. Yeah, perfect. That's all cut. So let's just go hop out here and we'll pull this out of the water. All right, okay. This is going to be a bit harder than I expected. All right, here we go. We'll just kind of drag it out of the water. Perfect. And place it on the bank. All right. Oh, yeah. Can you help me? Still a bit underwater. Just uh, take the right side there. All right, perfect. And lift. There you go. Just kind of place that. Perfect. All right, so that's the tree cleared up. And uh, whoever's going to, I think it's like there's a private company they hired to clean up. And the council does. Perfect. All right, uh, let me hop back in the water here. So we're basically just doing a training exercise for the for the River City Fire and Rescue Department here. For this scuba team. We're just doing training exercises. We do this every, uh, I think the last time we did this was around two weeks ago. So kind of... Uh, we do these uh, once or twice a month here just to keep our skills up because not all calls require scuba so therefore we just need to be basically testing our abilities all the time just to make sure that we are capable of still responding to these calls and acting quickly here. Alright so I think they're all clearing up here. We're going to be ending soon anyway because uh, it's getting later into the day so soon uh, judging by the sun it's probably about 1pm here. I took my phone and watch off and put them on the bank so I didn't get them wet. All right, well, I think we're done with the training exercise in the water. Perfect, let's go and put down my equipment here. Don't want to carry them all around. Put down the chainsaw over there and then put down the backboard as well. Perfect. Well, that's a, I, I'd just say that was a pretty successful uh, training exercise here. All right, I'm just going to go and ask and see how we did here. Uh, hi, how, we, how do we do today? How do we do? I think there was a bit of, uh, bit of performance lacking, especially trying to break through the uh, mock-up car. But apart from that, I think everything was still pretty good. Yeah, next time you okay. Next time I'll find you some victims. Really, <laughs> you're gonna find okay. Okay, I, I hope they are dummies, but yeah, normally they're just kind of like those dummies that we use here. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see. If we've got a call here. Help! The cave collapsed on us. We're trapped in an air pocket underwater. Whoa, where's this? Where is the world? Is this nine postal? All right, postal seven o seven. Did you see that call? Postal seven o seven. Yeah, yeah, you saw that call, Postal 707. What was that? I think that, I think we got a roll. Yeah, 707. We've got a person trapped underwater here. In the cave? Was that the... Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. We have no time to waste. All right, uh, we'll just hop in the squad truck with you over here. That is very strange. How that... Okay, I'm not sure how they got trapped underwater here. But uh, first of all, let's go and get our gear on. Then we're going to go and assess the situation here. So let's uh, go and get myself a new tank here. And go and load this up here. All right, perfect. Let's check the pressure on that. All right, pressure seems good. Okay, there we go. Just link that up here. And yeah, all right, that's all working. So where is this? The call came from around here. Where is this? Okay, Um. all right, let's spread out and look. Let's spread out and look. Apparently, there's a cave around here that collapsed. So uh, maybe it's linked to the housing suburb. I probably shouldn't have put my oxygen tank on while I'm walking over here because it's really heavy. Ah, oh, this is strange. This is strange. Alright, maybe underwater. Let's send a couple of people under the water to check. That is strange. Where is this? Where is this? Alright, maybe maybe underwater here and then I don't know. Uh okay. Maybe we could send under uh, let me let me get my flashlight out here. Not this side. It could be the other then. I'm not sure. Cool came around here, roughly postal seven oh seven, so oh, okay, alright. We now need to find this cave that collapsed. That is going to be the main part here. Sorry, let's cross the road. Maybe it could have been from the Houndsburg. I'm not familiar with a cave around this area, though, so I'm not sure. Maybe there's, like, a small cave over here that went under the river. I um, can't see anything, though. And if it, if it did collapse or if they're trapped in a cave, then it would be pretty easy to see the entrance. It may have just been the inside the cave that collapsed. Um, apparently, they found it under the bridge. All right, so it looks like we've got it under the bridge just here. All right. All right, let's just go and hop in the water. We're not going to go under. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. That must be in the cave entrance. All right. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and uh, let the chief know here. We're going to go and get all the equipment lined up so we can head under. We'll get the safety lines and everything. So where is the command outpost? was supposed to be around here. Can't find it, though. All right, so, yeah, there's a small opening, I think. We found a small opening just underneath the tunnel there. Or, the sorry, the bridge. Uh, just to the just the other side of the bridge, there's a small opening. And we think that's the cave. So, we're going to go and, yeah, we'll go and set up the lines and probably be under in 5, 10 minutes here. So, theoretically, if it's under here, I've never seen that cave before. Like, I, I don't know. I, I really, really do not know how they got under there. But uh, it must go under here over to there. 
because that's where the core was placed or roughly roughly but yeah it must kind of move around it's it's weird i don't know i don't know where this cave goes which is a problem because we're going to be moving under that blind pretty much um so yeah let's go and get at the safety line the safety line is going to be very very important in this situation where we we could easily go a wrong way and we're not able to find our way out of there so we've got around an hour well 45 minutes to an hour of uh, clean air so um, yeah, the safety line, let's go and, sorry, I'll take the safety line off of you there. We'll go ahead, we'll go and link it around here and then we'll send it under with the first diver there and kind of get it linked up. But yeah, that is a really small opening. Let's just go and hop in once again here. Lucky that this part of the river isn't tidal. Yeah, it's a really small opening there. So that is, that's going to be tricky, but we're going to have to get under there pretty fast because there is people trapped in their pockets. So once we've got all the safety procedures linked up, we'll get under there and get people out. EMTs are already rolling out the uh, stretches there. They're going to be ready once we get everyone out. All right, there we go. It's just so we've got the ox. We've got the line set up here. My oxygen tank pressure seems to be normal. Let's go and put on the mask here. Everyone ready? All right, I'll go and lead us in and then everyone follow single file line. Not sure where we're going, but the call was over there. So if there are any kind of T-junctions, we're heading in that general direction here. So we've got a police scuba team as well. All right, so um, I guess let's get going here. We've got around 45 minutes of oxygen. Well, we've got an hour, 45 minutes safely. All right, let's, uh, let's go in here. All right, let's go under here. This is really tight. Be careful of your oxygen tanks there. All right, it's definitely not to the left there. Oh, this is ominous. What? It's a car. Why is there a car underwater? All right, hold here. Let's just wait for everyone to catch up here. Got the safety line. Okay, perfect, perfect. Don't want to snag the safety line here. Okay, I see. What is going? Why are there cars in this? What? What happened here? All right, okay. We've got multiple people over here. All right, we've got people in air pockets. Let's go. Spread out, spread out. Let's just attach the safety line up here. There you go. We've got people over here. All right, there we go. Let's go and come on, come on. Let's get you out of here. They're in air pockets right at the top here. All right, sir, so you okay? All right, hello, hello, okay. All right, there you go. Just come over, come right over to the corner with me, okay? Thank you, all right. Okay, I'm gonna go and give you this respirator, or this small oxygen mask, and just need you to put it on, okay? It'll give you enough oxygen to just get out of here, okay? All right, all right, there you go. Just go and put that on. All right, go and put that on. You're gonna follow me, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you this rope. It's gonna be attached to my waist, okay? Just go, go and hold on to that, okay? And it's about a minute out of here, okay? Uh, and you've got a lot of explaining to do here, all right? You ready? Go and put that on your mouth. Okay, close your eyes if needed, just follow follow me, okay? There you go, go and follow me here. Uh, there's a line linked to my waist that they can just kind of hold on to that and I'll be able to pull them through the cave here. There you go, they follow me. Perfect, perfect, they're holding on. All right, let's go, let's go. So there's about five minutes of oxygen in those small oxygen tanks here. This part is really small and you can easily get your oxygen tank caught on that, so we need to be careful. Hey, you okay? All right, are oh, they stuck? Come on, come on, let's go and pull you under there. There you go. All right. And tight gap here, tight gap here, stay low to the ground, stay low, stay low, there you go, there you go, and up, nice and slowly up, nice and slowly up to the surface, alright, there you go, alright, good, 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 there you go, you did a great job, there you go, great job, great job, alright, come on, walk up slowly with me, come on, can you just walk up, alright, there you go, let me go and put your, put my arm around your shoulder, let's go and walk you over to the EMTs, okay, good job, you did a really good job getting out of the water there, let's get you over to the EMTs, okay, uh, I think we've got three or four people out of the water already. Why are there cars under there? I don't see how they... There, there must be another entrance where cars... I, I, I've i never seen that before there. There you go. All right. EMT is going to take care of you. All right? and they're doing pretty well. They managed to get out of the uh, water safely and they're able to swim. So they, they seem to be in a good condition there. It is really dark in this cave though. Like seriously, it's really, really hard to see, especially if you don't have a flashlight out. All right. So we've still got a couple more divers in here searching. This is where the safety line ends, so I'm not going to go too much past here, but let's just see. Is there anyone? Yeah, like the, the lights are even flashing on this car. What it, what it, yeah, when were these cars, these cars, okay. I'm guessing, I don't, I don't know, maybe this filled up with water and they could drive through here, but how? This is so confusing. So they're going to go ahead and finish the search up in there. I'm going to get out of here and assist with the overground, but yeah, this is... This is really confusing. We're wearing GPS, so we can go and link that up to the systems. Once we get back above the surface, let's go and raise myself above the surface there. Oh gosh, okay. Let's go and take the oxygen mask off. Oh, it's nice to breathe in fresh air. There we go. So that, that is weird. So it goes under here somewhere, follows along there, and there must be a, a vehicle entrance. I'm gonna ask the officer. Officer, sorry. Um, there were about five or six vehicles under underneath the cave. Do you know? 
do you know if there's any sort of vehicle entrance or anything because it looked like all the people there were driving and then the cave collapsed so do, do you know anything about that said no so that's strange even the police who patrol this area regularly don't know about that that is confusing that is really weird all right uh okay i'm gonna go and get my phone out and have a look here see if i can find anything online oh my dear me is that okay it's random wheel there let's have a look into that all right i found nothing on my phone so the okay i don't know what what is going on here but there was there was definitely five maybe even six or seven cars but yeah there's around five cars under there everyone under the water okay let's go and talk to them actually they can give us a lot more information than we could probably find on the internet um some of them will be able to speak anyways can i ask you a question so i'm able to ask them a question real quick um all right hi sir okay okay i'm just wondering here because i've checked i've checked the internet i've checked with police officers i've checked with kind of other people around this area and no one's really given me any information why were there five or six cars down there and how did you end up in a cave because you don't even look like you were diving down there it was uh it was in the forest i didn't know where we were oh my okay well we've got fbi over here okay thank you thank you let me go and uh hi so from what I've talked to them, I, I managed to talk to a couple of the people who were tramped underwater and the only information they were able to give us is one of their friends was driving through the forest, they found some sort of cave entrance so they decided to drive in and then uh, almost kind of a rubble started coming, it closed up and they, they kind of were trapped inside. That's all we've got so far, and we haven't been able to find any entrance except for the one in the water, but it looks like that one was for... There's no way that we've got any vehicles inside there, so we're still unsure about where they actually entered the water with a vehicle, so... Yeah, apparently it was somewhere near the farm area, but I still don't know. So yeah, I'm not sure. This is really a, a, an odd scene, a peculiar scene. I've never seen anything like this, to be fair. But we have got everyone out of the water, and most of the people were fine because they managed to find air pockets, but still, it, it baffles me how this all happened, really. I'm just going to go and take my gear off, but uh, if you want to talk to our chief, they may know some more information, so... Alright, let's go and take our gear off here because this is really getting hot in the summer sun. But yeah, that is strange. That is very strange indeed. Like, I don't know how, how they managed to find themselves there in a cave and they don't even know where they were really. Now the mystery has started, honestly. We've got a small cave opening down there. All right, FBI is going down with a camera. Um, yeah, how, how did this end up to be? Because the cave led under there, but what we found was just an ending. I didn't go down that far, but one of the divers who did go right down to end, it was probably about a 50 to 150 meter cave, and they found just a blocked entrance. Like, there's no way they would have even been able to get a car down there, but. There's, there's nothing, there's no cave entrances down here, so we're now stuck with a mystery cave entrance and some friend who disappeared who led them all down there. Yeah, I think this definitely definitely has some involvement with the local police department or FBI, because uh, it seems more than just some trapped people in the cave to me. Do you manage to find anything with the... Do you manage to find anything unusual? Because we've been looking and... We, we haven't really been able to find anything, to be fair. Looks like the cave went around 150 to 250 meters north, but one of our divers went up there and they couldn't find anything underwater or above ground, so... The hole you passed to rescue them under the bridge is not natural. Someone dig that. Someone dug the hole. Really? Okay. How, how long... Okay, alright. I'm not I'm not an expert at this, but how long ago do you, do you think someone dug that hole? Because... Or dug that cave entrance, because... It may have been purposeful, but half an hour. Seriously, we've been here like 25, maybe 30 minutes, so... Are you saying it was dug right before we came here? How? Okay, so... Alright, so someone came here, trapped people underwater, then dug that hole for us... Uh, what? Okay. Well then why... Okay. Why would they have dug a hole if they wanted people trapped? Maybe unless they wanted us to find them? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was an accident? I don't know. Okay. Alright, well, we'll let you know if you find anything. In so you saying the person who trapped them underwater dug that hole to escape and then left everyone else stranded under there to try and kind of... Okay, that, that kind of does make sense to be fair. That kind of does make sense. 
Well, all right, we'll let you know if we find anything. I think police, uh, there's a police scuba team which are currently looking down there to see if they can find anything, but all the cars, everything was empty. We couldn't find any ID or anything, so yeah, we'll, we'll let you know if we find anything here. Meanwhile, I think everyone's being taken care of. No one had any uh, major injuries, to be fair. It was mainly just a couple people had hypothermia because down there, there was no sun, no light. It was pretty cold, to be fair. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers and remember to keep some links in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.